Hey everyone, if you are building or launching an app, you know how important app store screenshots are. They are the first impression user get and trust me, a professional screenshot can make a huge difference. With the app launchpad, you can easily customize ready-made app store and play store screenshot templates. No design skills needed. Just pick a template, drop your app screens and adjust text and colors and you are done in a minutes. It's fast, simple and gives you your app a premium look that stand out from the competition. I will leave a link below. Go check out the app launchpad and level up your app presentation today. Let's quickly explore the interface and after the successful login, this is our dashboard. The first tab is as we can see, we have selected a create a design and here we can access our existing design we are working on or we have already created. Next here is our sizes. So iPhone, iPad, Android and more screenshot sizes, custom size. The next is category browse by category. So for example, we have selected app store screenshot. This is by default selected uh, here. We can select a template and customize it. Okay. We can start from the scratch. So if you don't want to use these template, I highly recommend you to start with these template. But if you have already idea in your mind and you want to start from scratch, so here you can click and start from scratch. Okay, next here is a pre-made template, which is a huge extensive library as you can see. And it's covered basically all the application categories if you are working. So for example, like if you you are working on a stock market or cryptocurrency or any educational yoga type and every category it's covered and this is pretty extensive library believe me okay so this is looking amazing i really like every time when i visit and see their pre-made templates so i it's really amazing okay so look at this clean looking screenshot and these are more creative touches as we can see with the vector shape used these are pretty amazing okay so we are going to start and create app store screenshot for a copy shop app and here is the first template. I like the color theme, the mobile style and everything is perfect for me to create. So I'm going to start with this first template. Okay, so let's click and here we are. As you can see, if you are first time using app launchpad, so this is the help center. You can visit and watch the 60 second tutorial and other keyboard shortcut help guide is available here. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And the first thing I'm going to do is to rename my app store screenshot. So this is copy shop app. Next, we have this undo and redo button. So if we make any mistakes, so we can hear undo or we can redo. Okay, so here we have these tabs and let's quickly explore these and then we are going to start and designing our app store screenshot. So the first tab is template. Again, we can access from the template if you change mind and we want to select a different template. So from here, we can select a different template. Okay, and here we have elements. So for example, I want to change the style of the phone or I don't like uh, any, for example, uh, I want want to change the phone so here we can access all the devices as you can see these are uh, with all angles available and as you can see this is vector which is amazing and this is pretty extensive library okay so the thing you have in mind and in available in the app launchpad so as you can see this is like a iphone 17 pro is launched and they have available the mock-up so this is really great okay you don't have to worry about the latest phone from the drop down as you can see we can select iphone we can select ipad and uh, we can select android phone uh, let's stick with the iphone now as you can see we have the iphone and here we can select images so for example if you want to play some images like a hand and other elements like icons or a play store icon logo so all these things available for you to select and place it in your design to make it look great okay and next we have this element tab which is important one and here as you can see we have all these arrows these are important and this really make it call uh, call to action all these shapes are available pre-made and you don't have to create anything from the stretch you can just select and place it in your design okay next we if you want to add text uh, in our design so we can add our text from here here we can select language and also we can translate text upload custom font and here is the background so if you want to change the background color we can select color from here or we can select color from the presets this is pretty extensive list of colors and also we have solid gradient and we can select images so if you want to place image here in the background we can select images from here and place it in our design here we have upload tape so we can upload our screen so first let's click on the upload okay so i'm going to select my app screens 
so as you can see this is uploading so the first thing i'm going to do is to change this text so let's select the text double click and let's type So this is the first text and this text is going to be click here and as you can see we can simply make it one line and now let's select and bring it here so this is looking perfect okay and now we need to select the device as you can see here i have selected the device and for the image i'm going to use this splash image which is beautiful looking image so as you can see this is the copy image we don't need 1 million user so let's delete this text and let's bring the phone slightly up and here okay this is now looking perfect if you want to zoom out we can click here and zoom out okay and now next uh, is the this is the next screen so for the next screen uh, let's first change the text so i'm going to double click here and type perfect balance okay and for this text i'm going to delete this text and click on the add text and add text here we are so let's select and place the text here above and for the fonts i'm going to use poppins click on search and type poppins okay and next i'm going to double click here and let's type okay so let's click outside and here we are going to align it to the left side for the font size i'm going to make it slightly smaller okay so this is looking perfect here as you can see we have already placed a text let's delete this and click on the device and bring it here something like this okay next let's change the image in the device so for this second image is going to be uh, this screen okay so as you can see now this is looking perfect let's bring closer this text something like this okay and slightly move up next let's uh, click on this shape and uh, sorry let's click select this text and let's type okay and for this text i'm going to use press escape key or click outside and let's align it here okay and for the font size i'm going to decrease it to let's try 70 font size is 70 and let's fix frame again so this is looking perfect now and i think let's bring this closer to the text the main headline and here we are okay and let's leave this app of the day okay and now i'm going to change another screenshot here so let's select this one this is the menu and here we are and i'm going to uh, zoom out and as you can see this is the five screen so let's delete this one let's focus on four screen and let's zoom in back okay and here we are so for this last screen uh, i'm going to select this screenshot or maybe let's add this picture and for this text i have already the text so let's type and for the second text we are going to click on the text and add text so as you can see we have added our text so let's place it here first change the font so i'm going to use poppins let's click here and align it to the left side okay so i'm going to make this in one line okay, let's change the text click outside and make sure that it is set in one line so as you can see the text size is different so let's make it 70 to match with the rest okay and As you can see our screenshot is ready and looking perfect so it's time to make it localized so for example uh, this is in english and if you want to translate it to any language we can okay you have to click on the text and here in the translate section click on the drop down and select the language you want to translate so for example i select chinese and click translate look at this and this is looking amazing we can translate it to german or any language we want so for example i select dutch and translate 
this is looking perfect okay we can slightly adjust the text position and here we are so this is how we can translate our screenshot and i'm going to press undo and here we are okay so as you can see our screenshot is looking perfect and i really like the layout and the structure of the screenshot so now it's time to export our screenshot so let's click on the download button and as you can see we have two options download as a jpeg and download as a png normally i use both options okay so first i want to download as a jpeg click and here we are now i'm going to click again on the download and download as a png okay so as you can see this is png version image 1.png okay and look at the preview this is looking pretty high quality and everything is looking perfect and now we have both jpeg so we don't have to worry about png or jpg both are looking perfect okay so that's it how you can localize and how you can finally export your design and that's it if you want to make your app store screenshot look clean professional check out the app launchpad